Hi everybody, it's Amalia, and I'm here today with the April 2019 House Mouse collab with Crafty Bean. Uh, this is my project for today, and uh, I started out with this little image right there, and I'm trying to find my cheat sheet. I got all cleaned up and organized, and... I can't find anything. There you go. Okay. I used my typical sheet to see what colors I should use. Again, this is from a Stampendous blog. You can go on their blog and you'll see uh, how they use Copic colors to color the house mouse mice. This is Muzzy, I believe. I stamped out the image a couple of times and I um, then I cut it out and um, I used some of my Copic colors, as you can see. Here's the reference, reference image right here. Um, I decided to put some stripes into the party hat, and then I didn't know what to do. Once I had the image colored, and once I cut out the circle, uh, I literally did not know what to do next. <laughs> so I started with the image, and then um, I decided I wanted to pull out some of the bright colors. And uh, I, like I didn't know what I was doing. So I, I started grabbing for stuff and I ended up with uh, grabbing some colors from this pack right here. This is uh, a peel and stick pack from Paper Accents. It's permanent, self-adhesive. You can print on it, acid, lignin-free, etc. And they're uh, neon kind of colors. And so I pulled that out and um, I pulled out this die from Simon Set and Stamp that says happy birthday. And I started, I started cutting out some samples. Um, and uh, well, I cut the background for this. That came sort of as an afterthought and I cut out some samples this is just on the paper itself it's a pretty thin lightweight paper and um, yeah it's gonna be challenging pulling the sticker paper off of this the backer for the sticker paper off of this so I did one with the paper just by itself and then one uh, backed with cardstock. So here's an example. This is just backed with plain uh, regular white cardstock from Michaels and it adds a little bit more sturdiness to my hands are dirty. They're all they have alcohol ink all over them um, Anyway Yeah, so this part of the paper came off and it's it's a struggle just to hold it in my hand because it keeps sticking so um, it really needs the paper backing uh, because um, well because it just needs that 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 strength so it, having an adhesive back really made no sense this paper is probably good for printing out stickers to peel and stick on you know if you're having a yard sale and you can peel and stick prices on on stuff or you know labels for envelopes or, or something like that uh, it's not it's not so good for cardstock um, the adhesive back part anyway because I had to adhere paper to the back so um, so yeah so I used the adhered back one the paper adhered back one to um, put the happy birthday on the inside. I decided to use the black cardstock because it was such a neon bright paper. It would look, I thought it looked good on it. It's unusual, um, but you know what? I have it in my stash, I'm gonna use it. So I, I used it for this particular project. Then, then what did I do? Then I still didn't know what I was, <laughs> what I wanted to do. So I grabbed a piece of, I also have in my stash uh, some, um, this has been colored with alcohol ink. I just flooded it with alcohol ink and some of this uh, blending solution. Um, 
and uh, and that's the color that it came out with but I did uh, something a little bit more dramatic on my first piece but anyway it's this cardstock this I got this from Ranger it's from Ranger and it's specialty coated cardstock uh, for alcohol ink for playing with alcohol ink and it came in a set of you know five by seven cards with envelopes uh, so I just took one and I started uh, I started dumping alcohol ink on it and these are the colors that I used I got a bunch of colors here but these are the colors that I used and these are the same alcohol inks that you're gonna find out at uh, Michaels uh, or wherever you shop for Tim Holtz products this is just I've had it so long that this is what it originally looked like so you might see here let me adjust the light I don't know if you could see or not but Tim Holtz's name is right there Rangers name is right there and then you originally called it Adirondack alcohol link that was their original brand name until until Tim Holtz just blew up and now everything has Tim Holtz's name on it anything anybody wants to play with these days has his name on it so let's see I used did I use any lettuce I don't think I used lettuce actually I used I used and uh, I used this alcohol ink this is called sunshine yellow I used sunshine yellow this is called sunset orange and I used a little bit of stone washed and this is the original pearl mixatives Tim Holtz now makes his alcohol inks with the pearl mixative in it but before they used to just have the plain alcohol inks and then you bought a mixative separate they have a gold mixative a silver mixative and a they probably have a, a copper or a bronze one as well um, but you're not gonna see it anymore because Tim Holtz has everything with his name on it <laughs> and uh, so yeah so I did an entire sheet of paper like that spritzing it on putting blending solution on using my my straw to blow the ink around which was really kind of useless because I kept just adding layers of ink and adding layers of mixative and adding layers of blending solution and color and um, it looked like a hot mess and then I chopped it up with um, this EK success circle punch I think I got this from Tuesday morning recently and um, you know Crafting the supplies that don't work well are a real disappointment. Now, I don't know if it's because of the paper, this uh, specialty coated paper. It's a pretty thick, it's kind of like poster board, thin poster board almost. It just didn't cut through very well. There's, there's torn edges, not even torn edges, but the paper, uh, you know, it, it's not a nice clean cut and um, you know what I need a nice clean cut so uh, I, I don't have the original box it came in God knows if I have the receipt I keep all my receipts but you know where am I gonna find that receipt when did I buy it did I buy it this year did I buy it last year who knows I don't know um, but I really hate it when you know you buy uh, a tool a die something and it doesn't work right and this is not user error okay maybe it's the paper Let's see, maybe it's the paper, so let's grab, excuse my boobs if you saw my boobs, some regular paper. This is just, again, the normal cardstock from Michaels. Yeah, and it has this little, I can't see it, let's see if you can see it here. So it's got this little, right there, it's not cutting, it's not slicing through the paper cleanly. And um, I don't like that. I want it to work and work well. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. That really just chaps me. Anyway, back to this. So I used a ton of alcohol inks and I cut out the paper. I tried to work around um, the, the lack of fineness, sorry, around the edge here by 
trying to chop it up with a scissor. That really didn't work. I took my Sharpie marker. That's just some of that sticker paper. I took my Sharpie marker. <laughs> Squirrel! I took my Sharpie marker and just tried to black out the edges a little bit just to maybe make it look a little bit more, a little bit more finer, but uh, who knows? Against the black background, I think you really can't see it that much. It looks fine. Not a big deal. And so, yes. So then I put some white on here, just in case whoever uses it and sends it out didn't want to write in white gel pen. <laughs> uh, I put some white on there for the message, and that's it. That's my card. Uh, I hope you like my project. And uh, don't forget that this is a collab, a year-long collab. And uh, if you look down in the description below, that you'll see uh, all of the other uh, great YouTubers that are following along in this collab, and you'll see the projects that they made. Just click on the links below, and you'll follow along to all of the collabers. And uh, if you like my little project here, please click thumbs up. And don't forget to ring the bell. There's a little bell icon somewhere near the bottom of this video, maybe. And if you click on the bell icon, you'll get notified whenever I post a video. My next video coming up should be about um, the Goals collab. Uh, I have other projects in the works, but I'm not ready to do anything about those. <laughs> So click like and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below because I love hearing from you guys. Thanks very much. Bye.